Hello, hello everyone. Sorry here. Uh, it's been a while. It's been almost two weeks. Uh, it does feel weird uh, getting back into things. But yeah, expect the content to come back. Now we have a new patch. I want to take a little bit of break after uh, seasonals. Uh, it didn't really go too well for me in the seasonals. So I was a little bit down. Wanted to take a little bit of break and yeah uh, we have a new patch so i wanted to make a comeback now and i'm very excited uh, a lot of uh, the the nerfs mostly the nerfs hit every card i wanted katarina quietus and jinx uh so i'm very happy with the nerfs buffs we have orn buffs which is why we're gonna play orn and Jax also buffs and the most important buff for Jax was the fish fight so now you can run fish fight along with Jax, which is very very solid play, a uh, solid card to run along with Jax. Uh, this deck Jax own is an old archetype. It did struggle with kind of removing pesky units because you don't really have any removals with this card with this deck. But now we have fish fight, so it does help you out. You can pick off annoying stuff like Vagar, for example, which is a win condition for your opponent can kill a Nora stuff like like that that are pretty pesky and uh, fish fight helps you a lot with uh, help with of your weapons uh, if you've never played Jackson Jackson is a weapon deck Wep it relies on a lot of weapons and now we have forge uh, these are buff top units it's now a one two and we also have uh, favored artisan also got buffed now it's a two three it can block and kill stuff uh we also have another buff with it which is hearth blood mender now has i think it got plus one plus one stats so it is uh very annoying on the board i'm not sure if it used to be six mana i kind of feel like it was six mana and we also have an on buff which now also gained plus one plus one he's pretty annoying to kill and if you lose your weapon you still have some good stats he doesn't die pretty easily the idea of this deck is you want to build a board. Uh, you have stuff like Jax for early game, Ionian Hookmaster, uh, the Weaponsmith, and the Favored for early game. You also have your strongest card, mid card is Combat Cook, and we have also Peltoven Castaway. A lot of these cards have a weapon already on them. These weapons will help you level up your Jax. Uh, leveling up Jax, you'll gain the Overwhelm keyword. Overwhelm keyword is very strong to start pushing overwhelm damage and if you copy Jax's weapon on or now you have overwhelm on or on usually with your units you want to look mostly you, you really like overwhelm or you like uh scout because this will help you level uh, help you put more pressure with the orn uh, if he has scout or overwhelm if you copy that uh, that weapon uh, scout on on you can potentially level up level him up on the first attack then you attack with the next one he su he summons this guy with a lot of stats and overwhelm keyword and you kind of set up to win the game you also have an another win condition which is colossus colossus is basically uh, a value engine if you can summon him on the board give him a weapon he'll create another unit in your hand with the uh, for four mana so you can resummon it also play a weapon on, on it you get another one from there it is very annoying for your opponent to deal with them unless they kill the unit you're summoning so before you can equip it you do have catch in the deck so you could kind of summon it quickly with the catch uh so this is the list i'm gonna be running today i did see some people running uh where is it this guy babbling jerk Babbling Jerg is good. You could cut maybe uh, parts of the hole and uh, run one Babbling Jerg or two Babbling Jerg if you want, which uh, always will draw you either Orn or Colossus, which is a neat, a neat card. Uh, you could run it. I haven't tested it yet, uh, but we'll see. I will see how, uh, if I make my decision today. Uh, I will update the list for you guys if I end up liking uh, Jerg more. Uh, but yeah, we will take it to ladder and we'll see how it goes. Without further ado, here we go. All right, we're against Jace Heimer, which is an old archetype. I think I'll full mull and look for maybe Jax for early game. I could have also kept Combat Cook, I guess. So 
I'll just pass here. I don't need to play this right now. Uh, I could wait, honestly. I could wait. I don't have to do anything here. But if I... Alright. I don't think you should play this un until you, you jam the Heimer. I'm only scared to play this because it might die to, to Mystic or something before I, I can forge a unit. And I don't really have any any three drops right now. I will tell you. You're the one about his fiery breath, Bertha. Yeah, yeah. So just ignore this for now. And I'll go combat cook. We have an Orn, which is really great. He will most likely die to Avengers or something. I like this. To be honest, a quick attack. But I definitely want to add uh, the the four mana guy that draws me an Orn. I think we should be adding that in the list. So I'll probably add it. I'll update the list so you can have it in the, in the deck. That's a play, which is fine. I can replay the weapon here. I still put pressure or put it here. I think I like it here because more health. But like this is useless if I don't buff it up here. And I don't want to play the forge right now. There is no reason for me to play it. Jax is good. We have a really good hand. So I think uh, we jump combat cook this turn, maybe. Since they don't have, they don't even have a Heimer, so that's really good for us. It's an awesome day for progress. Not even I know what I'm cooking up. I was hoping for the scout keyword or over one, but I guess the forge is gonna probably go on the Jax now. Make him harder to kill. Alright, that's okay. Alright, so we go Jax here. We also have Forge to forge this. Make him harder to kill. He might try and kill him now before I am capable of doing anything. Yeah, I can't do anything here. I think I just go for the swing here. I don't really need to forge right now. Alright, uh, so what we need to kill this, right? And do it here and re equip him so he heals up. Ah, uh, the swap stats. Bit annoying, but it's okay. I can go Orn here. I want to get the quick attack. No we have this guy as a wink on as well, so this is also good. If I if I get a catch, should be really nice because I can keep getting another one. I don't like this. I don't like this. I can level him here. Six. I guess maybe he has a mystic shot. Potentially. Yeah, probably a mystic. Would mystic be a mystic? Wouldn't actually be enough. Get excited, I guess. Yeah, it's only get excited that I can actually think of right now. That would 
Shut me down. I'll go for the swing here. Dungeons, understandable. Uh, I could um, I could play obliterate here. Uh, put him in an obliterate. I will lose the weapon though. Is it worth it? Potentially. Potentially worth it. I think it's worth it. If I can get him on the board again. I will lose the weapon, unfortunately. The weapon is really, really strong. But that's fine. Next turn I can go with this guy and give him a weapon. So I'll get another cheap one. Let's get to work. I have a blocker for this. I don't I don't need to do anything. Alright, that's okay. Just let it hit. Go for this guy in the hopes that opponent doesn't have uh, a vengeance immediately to kill him. If he doesn't die here, uh, we can play the weapon and we get another one. Swap. Uh, that's kind of annoying. It's annoying. Uh, I like giving him this. But the problem is then I can't... It's hard to attack with the Orn, right? I guess just giving him this is fine. Puts him up to... Fair enough. I guess I can forge it. Alright. Pass here. Uh... I like replaying this guy. He's pretty buffy. This is an annoying play. Uh, yeah, it's doomed from here. I can't do anything. You just allow it. I like playing this to draw cards, and I can. Let me do this first. I can still set up a strong attack. Maybe I don't do this right now. I don't need it. I can play this. Nice. Uh, six damage, right? And we have this, and I can't give it the weapon. I still push uh, 10 damage, 11 damage here. We're one off. One off. Which is still fine. Uh, I think I'm way ahead opponent on board as well. I didn't expect this card though. I expected the ruination, I guess. I guess the ruination is kind of the same. Uh, we have to kill this immediately. This is harder to kill because of the uh, tough fright. This has to die. Can't allow it to stay alive. A vengeance would be a problem, yeah. It's okay. We have to go card draw now. Uh, how do I set up lethal here? I think I remove this. I don't want to remove uh, the over one weapon. I think I have to remove this. Nice. So we do this here. Fine. Let the hit happen. Keep this thing in my hand. I don't need to play it. I just pass here. Next turn we forge twice, play the Orn, and now we have a strong overwhelm unit, right? This is threatening lethal. Oh, we don't have overwhelm because uh, Jax isn't level when he was on board, right? So it doesn't have overwhelm. Ah, uh, that sucks. Ah, uh, that sucks a lot, actually. I could have copied this. I guess it's still okay. I don't know why I didn't not look at it. But I could have copied this. This actually puts way more... Way more pressure. Uh, 
Oh, it's this one. So swing with these, play this. Here. Doesn't set up lethal, I have to play more. But like, he definitely has units. I'd rather force him to block with these. He definitely has some spell to get another unit or something. I'd rather just open attack. This does threaten lethal, but it's very hard for me to like set up the lethal. I'd rather force this Heimer to block. And my own levels here. Ah, what a misplay. If I copied this, would have been much better. Uh, totally fine. I think I'd even allow it. I don't need to troll chant really. Doesn't do anything. He knows I have a quick attack. I guess he wanted the unit, and that's about it. Now this is what good looks like. Uh, we just pass here. We don't need to do anything. Now that we're uh, leveled, once we attack, we set up lethal because he's gonna summon this thing, right? Which is really buffy. Uh. I can't play this. I'm just chill. I don't need to do much here. Keep harsh ones. Maybe he has like an elusive or something. Oh, he's set up for this. Uh, I can't roll champ on down. It's also 5 mana so he doesn't get the elusive unit. Which is perfect. Just pass. I might discard this to get a unit. Oh, we don't get a unit. Never mind. We do not get a unit. I really want this to stay alive. It's very annoying for opponent. I don't need to do anything here. Just pass. Keep passing. We set up a strong attack here. We'll see how they retaliate. This this on its own sets up lethal. They have to vengeance this. And if they vengeance this, then Orn is kinda safe, right? Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. Three mana, I don't I don't see an answer. There is no answer. Right, GG's, GG's. Uh, we could have lost from that uh, the, the card that wiped out our board, but we got pretty lucky and we were able to redevelop our board. Uh, GG's. Right, we're against uh, Elise Twisted Fate, so I'm assuming this is this might be a Go Hard deck. I like keeping these, I like also keeping this. Uh, no. I'm not too sure about this since I have 2-3 and then maybe I draw into something but I don't mind it I'll keep it he is also really strong if we can draw an Orn I guess the head is perfect I saw some people uh, some people running uh, All right. Uh, I don't think I block. If I block, they might have a go hard. Yeah, I saw some people running the four mana. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the thing that draws you something that has five damage or more, so you can always draw your own. Right? I was thinking of including it, so I might change up the list. Uh, we'll see. Swing with both of these. Go hard. Fine. Let's 
zap so i guess they have another one uh i think playing double of these and playing at least one forge here is good so it doesn't die oof oof it's a play i like it uh, i like it this actually gives them double go hearts now if that's the only thing he runs in the deck so that's kind of a bit scary So I'm assuming he has pack now. No, he doesn't. He has double go. No, he already played. Yeah, the next one with the third one is a pack. Not sure if they're running. If their hand is all go hard. Maybe they run Val Feast, Quietus, Glimpse. Those are cards they might draw. I think we just pass here. No need. No reason to do anything. Okay, so that's the second one. Let's see if they play another one. If they play another one, it is a bit scary. Because I can't really develop. Okay, then let's play one. So I guess I can go combat cook or I could go this guy. I like this guy to buff this guy twice. And I can put him out of hard range, I guess. With the catches. I am putting a lot of resources though. So he needs one go hard here and the pack to kill this. Which is a bit difficult. But it is doable, I guess. The weapon is really powerful though. What does this do? Kill an ally. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's okay. It does slow down my level up though. And I still need to kill this Elise. The next one is a pack, we know that. And they have a weapon now. Troll chant is nice. I can keep him alive with Troll chant as well. Oh, they're looking. There it is. Uh, so we do this. Give him plus one, plus one. Take the hit. And we go combat cook here. If they swing, I can still block. And I have a Troll chant to keep the guy alive. And he also levels, right? That would be nice. They might not swing though. So I'll play this just to forge again here. Do it next turn. If I draw an Orn here. <laughs> okay, so we do this here. Forge one more time. And I don't want to swing with this. Actually, I can swing with it. I have a unit in my hand. It's fine. I'll see what they do here. We need to level him up. Okay, nice. So now we have Overwhelm on him. It does act like the change feels good. Because now he has Overwhelm here. But his weapon does not get Overwhelm anymore, does it? Oh, it does. It, does. it keeps Overwhelm. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're good. Because, like, I could always use this weapon on something else, right? Uh, I think it's a pass here. He might have Ruination next turn. So, I don't want to, like, Overcommit on the board and then lose everything. So we're just kinda on the defense right now. Another go hard. Fish fight really good. Fish fight is the perfect card we need. Uh, I can pass one more time. Okay. I think I want to fish fight this guy. I'm scared he has a vengeance. We'll see. But I want to fish fight here. If I remove the weapon, I can replay it and he will heal up again. Which uh, might be really useful. Okay. There's the second one. 
So we'll do this here. They had a vengeance, I think they would have slammed it. So I guess no vengeance. Ruination, we're scared of that. No Orn yet. I think I open. I mean, I could play this guy. No, I think it's an open. Yeah. Because they might have a TF gold card or something. I'd rather just commit the swing here. Push the damage I can push. Also, they might have... Uh, I forgot about uh, the 9 mana guy. Might be a problem if they have him. Okay, so yeah, we expected something. Okay. I'll play this weapon here and just pass, do nothing. Just so that it doesn't die to a Val Feast or something. And I keep a blocker in case they have a pack. We can still redevelop the board a little bit. So here is just a pass. Could play this weapon here. Or that shell. Just to be able to block it. I really need an orn. Uh, this is not good. Why are they transforming to these, not uh, copies of them? So I guess fine. I'll just harsh one them. Not, I don't understand. Uh, is this bad? <laughs> What's happening here? I'm not sure this is supposed to happen. Somewhat confused. I think this might be a bug. Because this is the weapon. Also, I, the, like a unit shouldn't be 1 0. I don't understand this. I'm genuinely confused. I don't understand how a unit that exists at 1 0. I'm, I'm confused. Hmm. I'll forge this. And we hope they don't have a ruination. Alright, that gave up. GG's, but I think it's a bug. I don't think it's supposed to happen like that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, GG's, GG's. Alright, we're playing against the mirror. I'm gonna keep jacks. Uh, I can keep these, to be honest. Uh, we have troll chan just to try and keep Jack so uh, alive and this will give me back mana with attune so I'll be able to play it on turn three basically Forge is really nice as well scout I can't play jacks here I can't block it if I have to Alright, so we go with this. Scout is nice. I also like this. This is way more aggressive, right? I think I like it more. Makes it harder for them to even block. Alright, we go for the swing here. Just pass. Uh, we're basically looking for or now. I think I have... <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we have everything we want. Now we basically just... Uh, I'll just build the board. Maybe buff stuff with the, with the forge weapons we have. I can buff this weapon up and then uh, 
get get it with the uh, copy it with the own right uh, I like the scout actually now I can actually focus on buffing this guy up I think I can ignore this I don't want to troll chat I think I focus on buffing this guy up and then we can copy it with the Orn later then we'll have scout okay, so this gives me forge once I equip of course which I can do with this alright so we do this here Now it gets forged. It's a 5 5. Bit annoying for opponent. We can play this. And I'll I'll keep my troll chant open in case I need it. Uh so I think we swing like this. This doesn't really swing. I don't think I need to forge. He levels it, right? Yeah, he does level. So I think I attack like this. And I'm probably gonna copy the scout weapon. This is also really buffy, but I think I prefer the scout weapon. Uh, yeah. Good. His jack's also leveled. But it's, it's not really a biggie. I don't think it's much of a biggie. Put the scout weapon here. I will basically just chill. I can level him up with only one turn. I just need to be kind of defensive here. So I'm gonna forge here. And pass. I will see what the opponent wants to do. I could fish fight to be honest. I could fish fight. Maybe I should have fish fighted. I guess this is still fine. I can troll chant here and block. They might want to fish fight. Oh. So. I think we have to fish fight. The only problem is if I fish fight, it is very hard for me to, to play anything afterwards. Right? I could give barrier here and keep this guy alive. For three mana, but then I can't really do much afterwards. I could just a troll chant here. We kill this, and I can play another Jax. But then I can't, uh, then I can't fish fight anymore, which isn't really great. I don't think I need the fish fight that much. So. Do I need the fish fight? Not really. I think I'm fine with this. And now we play Orn. Copy this. Uh, I think opponent probably knows it's kinda doomed uh, for them here. They want to entomb him, uh, which is understandable. This is a soundable play so I can start with this I will see if they want to block it but I think just uh, swinging with both which more damage I guess makes more sense this one will come back uh, on my next attack and I can give him the weapon again if I want to so are kind of chilling I should probably kill this guy. I have I have a lot of ways to kill him. Uh, this if they play troll chant, I still have three sisters and two north of Yuri, so he should be dead, I think. Unless they have their own three sisters, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Have it. All right, GGs, GGs. Uh.
Yeah, or uh, putting all on the board was just uh, way too much for a point to deal with. 